It's Monday, and I'm coming at you with the salty ass energy of somebody who is graduating out of the size range of a store like Lane Bryant. Um, this is something that I've wanted to talk about for a really long time, and I feel like my hair, not having been done today, is appropriate for today's little conversation we're going to have. So um, if you're somebody who is on the feminine side of the gender spectrum or was forced into that space and you are a plus size person who is forced to shop at specialty, quote unquote, specialty stores because you just happen to have a larger body than what society is comfortable with. Um, you probably, if you're American specifically, if you're in the United States, have had an experience with Lane Bryant. Um, Lane Bryant is a fantastically interesting store because one of the things that it does that I just have always been like, question mark, their sizing. Their sizing is weird. So all of the sizes, like the store starts at a size 14, but a lot of the clothes are not just like size 14 or 16 or 18 or 20, 22, 24, 26 or 28. Generally, no, that's not the way the sizes go. The way the sizes go is a lot of things are 14, 16 or 18, 20 or 22, 24, 20, 22, 24 is the size that everybody wore, which is the size I wore for like ever. So I never was able to find anything, which really sucked. I really hated that so much. So very, very much. However, um, my thing that I never understood was like, how can it be both a 22 and a 24? Because these are not the same size. These are not the same size at all. Ladies, gentlemen, and anyone in between or outside of that. Um, I just, I never got that. I never got that. I mean, I get it that like the clothes are made with generally stretchy materials. Yes, absolutely. Add that to last hand. Get that stretch. I love it. But like a 22-24, someone once told me, I think I might have asked. I don't remember because memory being what it is. Um, I was basically told or it was implied in my direction that a 22-24 means that regardless if you're a 22, a 23, or a 24, you can fit that piece of clothing. But in reality, from my lived experience, what it actually means is it's a piece of clothing that is designed poorly so that it fits poorly for somebody who's a 22 or somebody who's a size 24. So anyway, <laughs> this stuff sucks. And it's not your fault you don't fit. It's the clothes.